Well. Yeah, Natasha joins us. What are conditions up there on Mount Hood tonight, Natasha? Well, we've had some fresh snow today. All good news, of course, for our local ski resorts. We're going to see some heavier snow, though, tonight going into tomorrow morning. So if you're going to be using those mountain passes, it's a forecast you definitely want to pay attention to. It's 30 degrees up there at Government Camp, and you can see some fresh tracks in the snow. Really light amounts coming through so far. We've seen it on our camera on and off. Here's a look at that ski report. In the last 24 hours, reported at Timberland, two inches, Ski Bowl two inches as well as Bachelor uh, Meadows reporting a base of 78 inches. So we're going to keep on adding to those totals going into tomorrow and keeping that snow level down to about 2,000 feet tomorrow morning. And we're going to see our temperatures rise gradually over the weekend. And at that time, we are going to be shutting off the snow, bringing up our temperatures to that freezing level of about 5,000 feet by Saturday. Saturday should be an excellent day, by the way, to get up there. Look at the amount of snow that we could potentially see up there in government camp. It could be anywhere from three to six inches, six to 12 inches on the higher end. Of course, the higher you get above the tree line, the more snow certainly you're going to see. But for local ski resorts, that could be six plus inches of snow going into tomorrow. But we kind of cut off the moisture pretty quickly. So really all the action for us is happening tomorrow morning. So what's next for us? As we're seeing snow up there on the mountains, we're going to see rain right here in the valley. That'll be tomorrow morning. For the weekend outlook, things are looking a little bit of a split between some sunshine and some rain. And then for next week, we could be bringing in another atmospheric river. Light variety rain is what we've seen so far today. Taking a look at that uh, radar loop, just a couple of sprinkles passing through Vancouver and Portland in the last hour. Since midnight, we've only picked up a few hundredths of an inch of rain from Portland up to Vancouver down to Aurora. The amount of rain that we see coming through overnight tonight through tomorrow morning, likely only about a tenth of an inch out of the coast, closer to about two tenths of an inch. So not a huge rainmaker, just a little bit to add to the rain bucket. Tomorrow morning for your morning commute, temperatures are going to be in the low 40s. We have that rain coming through for you at that time, anytime between about five and seven o'clock in the morning. There's your mountain snow. So some of the worst driving is going to be tomorrow morning using those mountain passes heading up towards Mount Hood. But most of the day is pretty dry. In fact, temperatures tomorrow in the mid 40s on the cool side, but you'll actually have moments of sunshine too. Getting into Saturday morning, breaks in the clouds, temperatures a little bit cooler in the mid to upper 30s. And then we continue. Saturday's a really good weather day. Sunday though, we're Super Bowl Sunday. If you're thinking about having your party outdoors, maybe try to bring it inside. Uh, we're expecting by 630 in the morning some heavy showers to come through Sunday. And then again, coming through Sunday afternoon and evening. So looking at that Super Bowl Sunday forecast highs for you in Portland up to just at about 50 degrees. Interesting to note that in Las Vegas on Sunday, the temperature is going to be 54. So not all that much warmer than what we're expecting here at home. Here's a look at that seven day forecast. So tomorrow's high. 46 overnight temps in the mid to upper 30s getting into Saturday again a mostly sunny to partly cloudy day 50 degrees for you Saturday Sunday we're expecting just 49 and then we see our temperature hang out in the low 50s next week so we got a lot going on next Tuesday Mardi Gras at this point looks like it should be a dry day uh, next Wednesday though is Valentine's Day and things are just going to be soggy so uh, I don't know ideas for your sweetheart well you'll have to choose but well, just know that it's going to be probably rainy yeah but don't let the rain stop you